insight into the self, the essential nature of everyone. The self as it is distinguished from three bodies, five sheets, and all that goes to come create the world process. Profound study of Vedanta philosophy. First focus your mind at the physical body, how human mind goes through countless sufferings on the basis of physical body. And by God's grace, one thing doesn't open up to the mind that you have gone through in every embodiment all those sufferings. Another thing doesn't open up to your mind. How many embodiments I have, did I have? <laughs> trillions and trillions. Countless bodies have come and gone. It should have been a simple task for the mind to step beyond the body. But it is not a simple task. Because if you are not aware of the body or ignore your body, then you will stay nobody. <laughs> you will not make any progress. If you became confined to the body, absolutely resigned to it, then you will not make any progress. You have to use the body just like you use a ladder to step beyond the ladder. Use your body to step beyond the body. Human mind is so accustomed to the idea, I am the body. The mind is flowing through a nervous system. And only that part of the mind which, has, which is trapped with the nervous system sustains the notion, I am the body. The major part of the mind which is beyond the nervous system, that mind needs to be understood needs to be unfolded. Your mind has to tune to that mind for profounder life. If life is just backed up by nervous system, and nervous system also has its possibility of change, but not much changes occur unless you enter into japa, meditation, then profounder change can occur in your nervous system. Because the higher experience begins to adjust your nerves. Because who created the brain and nerves? The mind. Mind allowed you to, to enter into this complex system based on your karma. And you have always the possibility to change your personality, change your nervous system, and tap in a higher process of mentation, higher process of thinking. The idea is simple, that as your thinking advances, changes occur even in your physical body, in your nervous system. But these changes are limited. Keeping that understanding, the basic point that even though I lead you to understand all this is Brahman, don't walk around in a mad, <laughs> a mad mind that <laughs> everything has Brahman, become Brahman for me. The physical body and all its realities will remain the same. Only you will give attention to all, but your mind will turn to God who is working through me. Three standpoints as Rama, when Rama asked Hanuman, how am I related to you? And Hanuman said, Deha buddhya tu dasoham. But the point of the body, I am a slave, you are the Lord, Master. So whatever you accomplish through your body is because God is using your body as an instrument. Jiva buddhya tvadanshaka. When you come to realize you are a soul that has moved through many embodiments, then you must realize you are a, a part of God. You are just like a ray 
soul is a ray and God is like the sun. Now, before you there is a possibility of tapping from the sun. How much is the potentiality of a ray? As your mind advances, you understand its potentiality is limitless because it is the sun. How much can you become God-like? There is no limit. Be as perfect as the Father in heaven. You are made in the image of God. And if you go further up, God alone is. Atma buddhya tavai vaham. Go into the deepest level. There is no, there is only non-dual absolute self. All three has become a mixture, a khichri. And your practical reality must face all the three without getting confused. With this introduction, let me go into 91st verse, which we have, we have also done somewhat past time, that is reiteration. Sthulasya sambhava jara maranani dharma sthalyadayo bahu vidha shishutadya vastha varanashramadi niyama bahu dhama yahasu puja mana bahu mana mukha vishesha Physical body is characterized by the changes such as childhood. They are called avasthas of the body. Childhood, age, disease, death. It's the major avasthas characterized by the looks of the body. Fat or thin. Before two year old, a baby is called shishu. Two to five years, Kumar. Six to ten years, Pauganda. Eleven to fifteen, Kishore. Sixteen to forty, Yawan. Jawan is it. Language is known all over the world. The Arabic term Jawan comes from the Yawan. And Jara. Old age, 40 and up. <laughs> That's why people hide their age <laughs> at 40. All this pressures the mind. Mind is constantly involved with this. But artistic life is be aware of all this, the physical reality, but never feel that you are cramped by it. Sky is never, cra cra is never cramped by clouds. Your spirit deep down is not cramped by all this. And this uncramping process goes on if you do yoga exercise every day. And having done a lot of exercises, you lie down and say, I'm dead. <laughs> Shavasana. And enjoy the dead pose and be reborn again. You are accustoming the mind to a deeper level of reality that mind becomes sensitive about as body relaxes. Otherwise, all experiences are in the terms of certain excitement. You have gone somewhere, you want to see something, you want to enjoy the senses and so forth. But Shavasana is that type of practice where you are dead, dead to the world. And no matter how much you try to become dead, you remain a witness. And a surprise, I am dead, but I am still safe. I am cannot die. The body comes, goes. Body is mortal. Living with the body with increasing awareness, the body is only my tool, an instrument, an overcoat. That's called real life. 